All right, everybody, phones down, glasses <laughs> up. It's time for Steel and Vance. Welcome inside the O'Boy oh Studios. It's good to have you oh, along. Oh, it is good to have you. And you know, things that we talked about last week have a way of coming back and building and getting bigger. Yeah. For example, we talked about distracted driving last week mm -hmm. because everybody's confused, including ICBC, including apparently. Uh, and so, for one thing, we warned you that there is a distracted driving sweep all month. Saanich police uh, hoped you got the message. Many drivers didn't because they caught a hundred of you with your phones. Man, oh man. Okay. Uh, and then ICBC had to correct a mistake because they were saying if just having the phone just on the right seat here. next to just you right here. was distracted driving. We had Kyla Lee, a lawyer and a driving expert on the show, and she said that's not true. And ICBC has now had to say, whoops, uh, actually you can have it on the phone, you just can't be touching it. Let's not talk about driving and we're going to talk about drinking because you don't want to drink and drive. No, you do not. You, but you do want to drink and watch Steel and Vance and it's time for our pour of the night. That's right from our show sponsor Cascadia Liquor and what we are drinking this evening is a Matua Hawks Bay Sav Blanc and I will tell you that it's actually got almost a greenish hue and it's delicious. Yeah. I'm not a big Sav Blanc fan because they can be a little too tart but this one's good. She's enjoying it and I'm I telling am. you Linda will tell you the truth and yes, yes I am having a white claw. I wish I could drink the wine. I just I know. I can't drink. But you know what? I will. A, a little happy for me. On top of Cascadia mm -hmm. Liquor Stores uh, sponsoring our show. Thank you for that. Our show boyfriend Ryan Reynolds, billionaire. He's got a B, billionaire. He sold Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile to T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, he's going to stay on as their spokesperson, I think, because that's what makes it super cool. So way to go, Ryan Reynolds. Come on the show. Come on the show. Come, Come on, the, on show. the show. Come on the show in person. That would be even better. Uh, we have a lot of really interesting things to talk about on today's show. One of them is very personal for my friend and co-host, Jody Vance. Yes. We're talking online harassment and a court case that Jody was the victim and the center of. Seven years it took to get to the courthouse on Friday, um, and I'm gonna tell you the story coming up in the next segment, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna lay it all on the table. You guys are my friends. These are my friends who made it to the courthouse. I did not invite everybody. I didn't, everybody says to me, Linda, I have to say, I didn't know, like, Linda's so small. I'm like, so small. Eric's tall. Eric's, like <laughs> Eric's six super foot tall. seven, practically. <laughs> but thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you for being there, and, and all of the uh, tweets and messages and DMs and everything that I'm getting, I read them all, I'm absorbing them all, and it is helping me because the court experience wasn't my favorite. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot of parallels because you remember the video with Amanda Todd oh. where she was the teen who was being sextorted online. She ended up taking her own life. BC has actually brought in some new sextortion Thank legislation, goodness. but I did not know this. It is teenage boys in this province who Great. are targeted most often. <sighs> And we're going to have a social media expert who is also an expert in sextortion. He's going to join us later in the show. Okay, this is the part of the show that I get the most feedback on because people say I can't manage watching the news cycle as, as constantly as I once did. <laughs> I love God. your... Right? Hot headline. Can we start quickly with one that just breaks my heart as yes, a former oh, Edmontonian? Everybody today talking about this horrific situation in Edmonton. Two young police officers from the Edmonton Police Service. That's 35-year-old uh, Travis Jordan on the left, 30-year-old Brian Brett Ryan on the right. They were both ambushed and killed uh, while responding to a domestic dispute. Terrible, terrible day terrible in Edmonton. And Thinking uh, about everybody who wears the uniform and yeah. serves and protects and puts themselves in the line of, of fire every yeah, single day. Literally, and when when yeah. people want to come at, at law enforcement, you have to remember that when you call 911, when you need somebody to show up and be there for you, these are the people that come charging into danger. So yeah. we'll put that there. Another thing that's kind of a come back around and growing topic is this CSIS report that we talked about with <laughs> Sam Cooper, uh, the leak that he got about uh, election interference via the Chinese government interfering with our elections. Well, that is not just a federal issue now. It is also growing into the municipal exclusive uh, story in the globe today which kind of does a deep dive into the Vancouver civic election essentially suggesting or flat out saying that there were Chinese operatives interfering that they didn't like Kennedy Stewart they thought he was too um, anti-Beijing too yeah. pro-democracy and there were some tiptoeing around the fact that somehow they thought Ken Sim, our first Chinese mayor, maybe got an extra little boost. Anyway, that story is He's denied not that. Ken Sim has gone away. on the record, actually, at the very mm -hmm. last minute before this, this show, um, 
had a press conference where he said if I was a white man we wouldn't even be having this conversation so there's that to this as well like it's it's an evolving and yeah. and and developing story and it takes us to the rapporteur yeah the rapporteur named this is the person that instead of actually having a Public. federal inquiry which a lot of people are calling for the prime minister said no we're like gonna, us we're calling for it we're gonna name <laughs> a very special rapporteur which um pierre polyev joked what is a rapporteur is it somebody who gets a cap and a hat and a cape and whatever but david johnston though i mean this He's is an individual one. who was appointed governor general by a conservative Mm -hmm. uh, Prime Minister, but then conservatives now are pushing back on the fact that he also knew Pierre Elliott Trudeau very well and knew Justin Good Trudeau and has with the Trudeau family. But it's like, how do you find somebody who's connected enough and can understand enough about what has has actually transpired, what has or has not, uh, without having some connection to the people? How about that just are, having I mean, a national inquiry? How about that? Oh, I, I hear you, you sister. You know, I would I'm, like to just have it. Who cheers. cares if let's it just, takes let's too just have long? A Thanks. It makes me suspicious that they don't want to do it. Uh, Got to sip or it's bad luck. Okay, I'll take us to the next one because it's bail reform. And I'm telling you, the justice system is broken. Mm, I mean, it, we talk about, I think we've talked about this almost every week on this show. Uh, just the repeat, the prolific offenders, the, the the revolving door of the justice system and how it's just got to change. And bail reform hopefully will do. Well, and I said last week, I didn't think anything was going to happen with the meeting with the, you know, the public safety ministers yeah. went to Ottawa to meet with the justice minister. And I thought based on what I was reading from David Lametti, the federal justice minister, that they were not so inclined to do anything. Sounds like I'm wrong. It sounds like, uh, you know, that both our public safety minister and attorney general said they felt very, very positive about that meeting and expect to see changes in this spring. I hope so, because I think, Linda, that this will act as a deterrent. And that's what we need more of. If people know they can get away with things like the revolving door of a bail reform, like see you tomorrow when they've done thousands of crimes like a handful of people doing thousands of crimes come on we can fix this we just need action I hate somebody to do something sound like a giant cynic but it sounded like the justice minister only suddenly got really interested in bail reform when all this china stuff was going mm. on and it felt a bit like turning the page yeah. but whatever it takes what are we turning the page to next okay, i think we're well, talking Cocaine. Yeah. So we talked Not last week bear. about a Langley company <laughs> that had got everybody all in a tizzy when it announced it had been given a license by Health Canada to make and sell cocaine. No. Whole bunch of people jumped in on buying stock. Of course in they would. Destra, right? Going, woohoo! I'm getting in there, Oops. and the stock went whoosh. And now there's a class action because it turns out that BC company had to walk it back and say, "Oh no, actually, we can't sell cocaine." And people said, "Well, I bought stocks based on that. Now the stock is crashing. Now they're facing a class action." So that is a significant lawsuit. I can careful. see that having some serious traction. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, TransLink. Speaking of traction, getting where you want to go. Everybody wants to get you out of your car. And, and into transit, but our transit system was like, dee, 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 dee. so, well, big, because big bucks. There was a bunch of money that went to BC Ferries, mm -hmm. a half a billion, Had now there's to. a half billion going to TransLink because uh, the premier said he didn't want buses to not be running and they want to be able to, uh, you know, fund an electric bus fleet. Right. All good news. And plus they have to spend another three billion, I think, by the end of the month. Yeah, they do. They have <laughs> so to get it. like, whoosh, yeah, that's it. Well, you get a car, you, you get a car. Cookies anyway. for everybody. And the fact that BC Ferries, did you know that BC Ferries didn't already have an app? Yeah, well, they do now. They but it doesn't make sense to me. But now they have an app, so you can schedule. You can find out if the ferry is on time. What a time. concept! It's going to hurt radio well, how, though, because you have to tune into the twenty three for God's sake. How come your they didn't have an app before now? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Uh, well, BC ferries. So we're talking transportation. Let's talk about the airlines because we know during yeah. uh, the snowstorms and what have you, there was travel chaos. Oh my god! There are over Sunwing forty thousand passenger complaints stuck oh. in the queue. Stuck so the federal the government, again, I think this is also a page turner, mm. announced some money uh, to tackle this complaints backlog to try to streamline it. Yeah, about time. I mean. 75 million is not a lot, but oh, look at flares having some trouble. Big trouble. Those planes being seized, there, there are plane graveyards all over North America now because these planes just, nobody can afford to fly them. We are seeing the result of the shutdown of the industry and the shortage of pilots. Well, and the cost of fuel and the flare owed millions uh, millions mm -hmm. millions anyway we, we can get more into that joe biden's uh, 
come coming to, next come to week. town. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. That'll be another opportunity for the government to turn the page. Can we just end this segment on something kind is this of disgusting? The, is this the gross thing? This yeah, is the gross I like thing. ice cream, but I don't like this kind of ice this, cream. Oh, I like ranch no. dressing, and I don't want it in my ice cream. No, this that's takes just... me back to the asparagus. No, Caesar salad, candy, candy canes. canes. At, no, everybody wanted them just because they were disgusting. No, I'll stick now, with my chips. Thank you. Yuck. All right. Okay, uh, still ahead. Yeah, later in the show, actually, we're going to have some fun. We've got a couple of heavy topics, but then Izzy's mm -hmm. coming back to the show. Our favorite, Bosley's by Pet Value Pup. Yeah. Yeah, Izzy's going to be here because we're all traveling She's for spring star. break. She's so great. So mm -hmm. we're going to be travel, travel tips with your pets. Yeah. Also still ahead, we're talking consequences. More the lack thereof for online harassment. And Jody has a very personal story coming up next. <laughs>